Hare Krishna. Focus on life, not on the mind's commentary about life. Suppose a cricket match is going on in which the player is here, the spectators are here and a commentator is, is in between. The commentator is supposed to explain what is happening on the cricket field to the spectators. But suppose there are two ex exceptional situations. This commentary is being heard by the player itself, player themselves. And that commentary is biased. The player is batting very well, leading the batting team in a good recovery after a collapse. But the batsman's performance is given a negative spin by the commentator who keeps saying, oh, that was just a lucky shot. Oh, that baller is such a fearsome baller. And the next ball is going to be a deadly bouncer which is going to injure and maybe even permanently damage, endanger this batsman. Now, if the batsman keeps hearing the commentary, then the batsman will become discombobulated, discouraged. And the batsman may play a loose shot that will end the innings. So now the batsman needs to focus on the match not on the commentary on the, about the match. So for all of us, we are playing the match of life and various events happen in our life. But the mind comments about them and the mind comments relentlessly and distortedly. So when some small problem comes, the mind starts saying, oh, this problem is so terrible. It's going to be the end of our life. We are going to be devastated. We are going to be ruined. And when we hear this, we feel so disheartened. We keep hearing the mind's commentary. And sometimes we make a small problem gigantic by uh, listening to the mind's commentary. So similarly, if there is a small pleasure, it is not worth noticing what to speak of indulging. But because the mind comments about it being so irresistible, that we give in to it and distract ourselves from something important. So the mind is a deceptive commentator, is a cunning commentator and knowing this, we have to learn to stop listening to the mind's commentary. The Instead, we have to turn towards Krishna and learn from him about the nature of life and about the best way to live our lives. So when we study the Bhagavad Gita, nourish our intelligence and take our guidance from the Gita, then when the mind starts giving its distorted commentary, we can turn a deaf ear towards it, focus on the wisdom that Krishna has given and focus on dealing with life as it is. The Bhagavad Gita in the 6th chapter says in seventh, the 7th seventh verse, Jitatmanaha Prashantasya Paramatma Samahitaha Shitoshna Sukha Dukkheshu so, Paramatma Samahitaha, that once we have reached the Supreme Soul, the Paramatma Krishna, once we connect with Krishna through devotion, through receptive hearing, then Jitatmanha Prashantasya, we win the mind, we win in the battle over the mind, we become peaceful. And in the world's dualities such as heat and cold, happiness and distress, honor and dishonor, don't get exaggerated by the mind. And then we can move forwards purposefully towards dealing with life as it is encountered by us and serving Krishna confidently and effectively. Thank you. Hare Krishna.